More breaking news tonight. We're getting uh, new information about possible charges against the WikiLeaks founder, Julian Assange. Our justice correspondents, Pamela Brown and Evan uh, Perez, are here with details. Pamela, first of all, tell us what you're learning. Well, Wolf, we have learned U.S. authorities have prepared charges to seek the arrest of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. This is according to U.S. officials speaking to myself, my colleague Evan Perez and Shimon Prokupes. The Justice Department probe of Assange and WikiLeaks dates back to at least 2010 when the site first gained widespread spread attention, as you'll recall, for posting thousands of files stolen by the former U.S. Army intelligence analyst, now known as Chelsea Manning. Now, prosecutors over the years have struggled um, with the First Amendment, uh, precluding the prosecution of Assange. But now we have learned through these officials uh, that they have found a way to move forward. The attorney general today was asked by my colleague, Laura Jarrett, about the focus on getting Assange. You said crime reduction overall is one of your top priorities in the department. And last week we heard from CIM director Mike Pompeo uh, really discussing the scourge of WikiLeaks and Chelsea Manning's leaks. Can you talk about whether it's a priority for your department to arrest Assange once and for all and whether you think you can take him down? We are going to uh, step up our effort and already are stepping up our efforts on all leaks. This is a matter that's gone beyond anything I'm aware of. Uh, we have professionals at Bennett, the security business of the United States for many years that are shocked by the number of leaks, and some of them are quite serious. So yes, it is a priority. We've already begun to step up our efforts, and uh, whenever a case can be made, we will seek to put some people in jail. Evan, uh, has something changed recently? Because uh, WikiLeaks uh, and Assange, they've been in the U.S. crosshairs for years. That's right, Wolf. Well, under the uh, administration of Barack, uh, Barack Obama administration, uh, Attorney General Eric Holder and officials at the Justice Department determined that it would be difficult to bring charges against Assange because WikiLeaks wasn't alone in publish, uh, publishing these documents stolen by uh, Chelsea Manning. Several newspapers, including the New York Times, did as well. Now, the investigation has continued, but any possible charges were put on hold, according to officials that we've been talking to. Now, the U.S. view of WikiLeaks and Assange began to change after investigators found what they believe uh, to be proof that WikiLeaks played an active role in helping Edward Snowden, a former NSA analyst, disclose a massive cache of classified documents. And last week, uh, director of the CIA, Mike Pompeo, gave a strong hint about what has changed. Take a listen. WikiLeaks walks like a hostile intelligence service and talks like a hostile intelligence service. It has encouraged its followers to find jobs at the CIA in order to obtain intelligence. It directed Chelsea Manning in her theft of specific secret information. It overwhelmingly focuses on the United States while seeking support from anti-democratic countries and organizations. And Wolf, uh, we've talked to uh, Julian Assange's lawyer, Barry Pollack, and he said he's had no communication with the Justice Department despite multiple efforts he's made to try to get some clarity as to whether or not this investigation is still ongoing. Uh, he says that they've been unwilling to, to have any discussion about this, and he says there's no reason why Wiki WikiLeaks should be treated differently from any other publisher. He says that WikiLeaks serves in the public interest, publishing information not only about the United States, but other countries as well. Pamela, as you know, uh, Julian Assange has been sitting in the embassy of Ecuador in London now for a long time. So can the U.S. get him? Well, the government officials there ha have granted him asylum. And until that changes, Wolf, he will likely remain there uh, in the embassy. What's interesting here, within DOJ, they were closely watching the election uh, in Ecuador because one of the candidates had actually vowed to no longer give Julian Assange uh, this asylum. That candidate did not win. And so I think within the department, there was also a strong feeling that they need to do this to send a political message, if nothing else, in the, in the interim. All right, guys, good reporting as usual. Pamela, Evan, uh, as always, good reporting.